What is going on people? It's Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our genetics playlist. Today we'll talk about chromosomal numbering system or the nomenclature. What does P mean? What does Q mean? What do we mean by P22.3? What the flip is that? What is Q24? Does it matter? Of course it does. So let's get started. I have several videos in my genetics playlist such as the George syndrome, Duchenne, Becker, Fanconi anemia, genetic diseases that cause cataract, etc. As you know, the building unit of your body is the cell. Your body has to perform functions and therefore it has systems like your gastrointestinal system, respiratory system, cardiovascular systems. Therefore, you need organs like the heart, the lungs, etc. Each organ is made of tissue and each tissue is made of groups of cells. The cell is made of cytoplasm and the nucleus, which is in the center. The nucleus contains your DNA, which contain genes, which will code for proteins, including the enzymes. And you need enzymes to perform body functions. If you dig deeper into the nucleus, you will find that your genetic material, i.e. DNA, is organized in the form of chromosomes. And this is the chromosome. It's a very condensed material. If you unwrap it and unravel it, what will I find? You'll find your DNA double helix. Since scientists have mapped the entire human genome, we would like to name each gene. But you cannot name each gene if you have not named and numbered each chromosome. How many chromosomes do you have in most of your cells, i.e. your somatic cells? You have 46 chromosomes, 23 pairs, so total is 46. Out of the 46, you got 23 from mommy and 23 from daddy. Let's look at the individual chromosome. Okay. In the middle, you'll have the central piece. Piece is mere, central is central. Central male is the central piece. Okay. And then we have a short arm and a long arm. The short arm is P, the long arm is Q. P is for petit in French. Also notice that in medicine, whenever you have a numbering system, P is gonna be a very common place to start. Example, remember your EKG? Yeah, what was the first wave? P wave. Do you remember your MHC class two? Yeah, the D stuff. H-L-A-D, human leukocytic antigen D. And then we had what? D-P, D-Q, dr oh we also started by the p and of course after the p you have q why is this i've no idea it's probably because in latin you have primum and secundum so you start with primum and in greek the word proto means like primitive beginning oh so we start with a p that's just my hypothesis so how many arms does the chromosome have short arm and long arm okay let's dig deeper each arm has regions. For example, P has one and two. First region, second region. Same thing with Q. So each one has two regions. Each region has bands. Region number one on P has just one band, but region number two has band one and band two. Then each band is subdivided into sub bands. For example, band number one on region one on the short arm has one, two, three, four sub-bands. How about region two? Well, region two has only three sub-bands, as you see. And then you give each one a name or a number. Let's go. Can you name this doofus right here? Sure, let's start at the beginning. It's P, okay, two, nice, two, nice, point three. Oh, so short arm, region number two, band number two, sub-band three. Got it. Can you name this one? Let's try it. P21.1. Yay. Can you name this? Sure, let's do it. Q13. That's it. Just Q13. All of this was just one chromosome. Don't forget that you have 23 pairs. 22 pairs of uh, somatic chromosomes and just one pair of sex chromosomes, either XX or XY. If you want to learn about Down syndrome, Patau syndrome, Edward syndrome, Curie du Chat, etc., check out this video called Genetic Diseases with Picmonic. You will find it on my YouTube channel in a playlist called Picmonic. I have other videos there too, including microbiology ones. If you like this video, you will enjoy my antibiotics course. Learn about antibacterials, antifungals, antivirals, and antiparasitic medications at medicosisperfectionatus.com. No subscription needed. You download it once and you keep it for you forever. I also have a kidney physiology course. 
as well as a general pharmacology course to talk about pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics and all of these crazy graphs, zero order versus first order, the C-max, the steady state concentration, etc. And for a limited number of students, you can get a 30% discount towards any course on my website by using promo code PANCREAS. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here, or you can Venmo me. Go to medicosisperfectionist.com to download my premium courses. As always, be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionist, where medicine makes perfect sense.